Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the charts. You're tuned into the Market Beast Edition. It is your fellow compadre speaking. Today, we'll be exploring the beautiful instrument that goes by the, the instrument symbol GME. That's right. It appears the GME has exploded through levels and had a very nice run on yesterday's day. So we're going to go over the details in terms of do I still think that GME is in a three-week selling cycle? Is it time to load the boat in quotations on GME and get a part of the lemon squeeze? We're going to go over those details right now. So if, you're, if you have time, let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right, so today is March the 26th to 2021, and the current price of GME is going to be $197.00. It's up approximately 7.2% for the day. Okay. Welcome back, all of my uh, Lemon Squeeze gang. Uh, hopefully you guys are doing well, and also all of my fellow compadres as well. All right, so what we're going to do is take a look at the charts to see how everything looks. Uh, obviously, for those of you who have been following us, know that the price is back above the $195 level. That's pretty important. Hopefully, you all remember that level. So let's go ahead and uh, pull up everything here. That's it. Really simple. If you're new here, it's maybe a little bit interesting what you're looking at. Uh, what you're looking at overhead is the range for Wall Street. Wall Street is trying to keep the price below this area. Let's just go over the range very quickly. Uh, $195 at this lower line here. All the way up to uh, $349 is the Wall Street's range. Uh, what they want to do is continue to push the price down. They want to suppress that price. Just put it down. They don't want the price to go up. And of course, uh, the lower line down here, the Lemon Squeeze Gang, a.k.a. I think they're referred to as Gorilla Apes or something like that. I'm not sure. I don't follow that stuff. We don't, I'm not cliche, right? Uh, they're trying to keep the price up and keep the price above $195. So, I mean, if we kind of get a zoom in here, you can find it's a, it's a very interesting battle between the two. If you could see it there, you see how they just like they're fighting. The buyers are like, no, we don't want the price to go down. And, the, and then, of course, Wall Street's like, listen, man, we got to get we got to get out of these short positions right now, like soon. Uh, so I guess let's just make this like a short video. It's super awkward every time we talk about GME, right? Um, do I think the market will still be within a three week selling cycle? Let's take a look at the three day here, see how everything looks. All right. So what I'm looking at on a three day here, this is pretty interesting because it knows I'm noticing that there's some pretty aggressive buying activity. Let me see if I can just kind of move that really fast, uh, for visibility purposes. Guys, if you can see that, like that little wick down there, this represents buying interest in the market. We go over this a lot on the channel. Uh, we look for wicks, whether it's below the candle's body, this, whether it's below the candle's body, it represents buying pressure, right? Like it pushes the market up, right? And vice versa. If you notice that there's a wick above the candle, it's the sellers pushing the price down, keeping the buyers from pushing the price to the upside. Oh, excuse me. So hopefully that little explanation was uh, interesting for those who don't uh, understand technical analysis. Guys, I'm no expert or genius, but yeah, that, I'm, it's pretty clear to understand that little small aspect of understanding candlesticks. Um, so, yeah, so do I think the three week cycle is going to continue? Let's see here. Let's look at the three week. All right. So even if the price closes above one hundred and ninety five dollars um, in terms of what I see on the three day, it looks like the buyers are going to they're relentless. They want to continue to push the price up. OK, um, I still think that there will be a selling cycle. I know someone's saying, no, no, dude, you're not. You're saying that because you were wrong. No, no, I wasn't wrong, guys. Um, we, we were simply saying that the market will likely be under in some hot water if it didn't get above three hundred dollars. Um, and of course, we, we made a target of all the way down to one hundred and fifty dollars. It exceeded that level uh, to the downside. Remember, guys, I'm not like a long term investor on mostly any stocks. OK, we have some that we hold, but it went all the way down to uh, eighteen dollars. By the way, it went lower. It exceeded our target to the downside, like twenty one percent. Um, I'm not a long term investor in these markets, guys. I don't trust stocks and I do not believe in any stocks. OK, we made an interesting video about that. Hopefully I have a link for it for you to check out. It's pretty funny. Not funny. It's, it's annoying, actually, uh, to some. So that's what I'm going to leave you wonderful folks out with. Yes, I still do think that the market is in a three week uh, selling cycle. Um, I do realize that the price has uh, experienced some significant upwards pressure uh, over the course of the last 48 hours. It's actually below $188 right now. This doesn't mean that the market will collapse, but again, I'm, I'm going to stick to my guns, okay? I just want to let everyone know, although I do notice the price has gone up. I think some people are saying they're YOLOing GME. That's fine, guys. Just just have a strategy. I don't, I don't 
um, disagree with anyone who has a strategy. If you're going to YOLO a strategy, then that's fine. I love to hear that you have a strategy and you're going to protect yourself from any downwards pressure. Um, and of course, you're going to protect yourself if you're betting against this market, which I'm um, kind of tempted to do, honestly. But I still have not entered the market on GME. Um, and this is my speculative observation of this beautiful instrument of GameStop corporation hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there just to support the channel uh, that's all we ask for the youtube algorithm to pick up on the videos and the channel of course if you're new before you go we also would like to send you out more additional information pertaining to the alternative markets that's bitcoin and altcoins that we cover throughout the week so subscribe with us we'd love for you to join us on this very unusual interesting journey so that's going to end this segment of asmr and interesting analysis uh, again, guys, take care of yourselves, protect your portfolios, execute your strategies. We're going to talk very soon, and bye for now.